One of the most famous estates in England, Altcar made its name with the Waterloo Cup, the top hair coursing event of the year. Tony Blair temporarily cancelled the coursing, but Brian Jardine is ensuring the estate, just north of Liverpool, becomes equally well known for shooting. Brian is the founder of clay pigeon trap manufacturer Promatic, and he loves his shooting. Well, I've been a shooting man since I was seven, so it comes quite naturally, especially the wild fowling aspect at, at, um, at Altcar. We have like 35,000 geese within a 10 mile perimeter, which is fantastic, which because wild fowling is probably my first love when it comes to shooting. There's about 5,000 acres here, 3,000 acres on the home shoot, which is in Thornton Hoff. It's, this used to be uh, Lord Sefton's, um, the Waterloo Cup, which everybody knows, which is just basically half a mile from the lodge. So there's a lot of history here. The lease is basically, I have the lease on the both shoots, so that gives us some longevity of what we need to do. Brian and Primatic have put some much needed investment into the estate. That was the old guns hut. This is the new one. The arrival is easy for the guns. The atmosphere is friendly and the catering is sumptuous. Now that's a proper breakfast. Then it's into the gun bus and off along the estate roads to one of those big, flat, fertile fields that characterise the Lancashire mosses. Guns are lowered into their day's shooting today with a straightforward and easy first drive. We are aiming for a bag of about 250. I find the best days around 200, 250 birds. Um, there's no mileage in taking silly birds. We have fantastic presentations here. So some geese just going in behind us there, which is very apt, close to the lodge. But we have a, a variety of, of, of different days, starting at sort of 60 and 70 bird days. And on a typical um, old driven, on a small day, maybe the guys get 30 snipes, some partridge, pheasant, duck. So it's very varied here about what time of year it is, what the weather conditions are. And then we go up to the normal partridge and pheasant. Um, all the wood drives are in in January, which is quite stupendous. Again, especially if we have a little bit of wind where we can drive the birds into the wind and push them back over the guns. It's very good. There's a strong picking up team at Alcar with champion dogs at work. I've got four lads and a spaniel. The, the yellow bitch at the back, she's a champion and the spaniel's a champion, but I didn't get her to champion. She's borrowed. Yeah. Right, it's the moment perfect to going back up that L shape already. You keep well wide, Tom. Just, uh, just a minute. Altcar is a traditional sporting estate laid out for shooting, and it is at its best in a prevailing southwesterly, not a thin southeasterly like today. But then easterlies tend to bring clear weather conditions, so it is better for you, the viewer. The guns are perfectly happy, but the gamekeeper knows best. At the end of the drive, Sam sums it up. As good as could be expected. <laughs> It's back to the lodge for one of Chef's special bull shots. As well as the game at Wildfowl, Brian uses Altcar to show off Primatic's simulated game layouts, which are as important to the company as its trap and sporting products. And part of Primatic is that we, we have the shooting facilities here and also on the Wirral, which is very good for interaction with our customers. Um, we also have the sitting syndicates on, on both estates. But it's all part of, of what we're trying to do to generate the simulated game, which is the big part of where Promatic's coming in the summer months and the game shooting and the simulated game. There's a big crossover and the way we do it, the way we have the coaches and, and the way everybody sort of behaves. We all dress the same for a simulated day. We dress the same for whether it's shooting partridge, pheasant or whatever. So we see to actually integrate the simulated game and have a very upmarket Pheasants and partridge shoes is useful for the company. Uh, we start in early March and that's specifically for people who are interested in buying simulated game equipment so we can entertain them and we can show them and demonstrate the equipment and then we go to just normal simulated days from sort of April, May, June and a little bit of July and then we have to sort of take a back step because we've got the birds all arrived ready for the game season so it's mainly between the 1st of March and and the beginning of July. Before we leave for drive three the chef reveals his secret bullshot recipe. Listen up bullshot connoisseurs. 
the bull shot is made with grouse stock, uh, a little bit of Worc Worc Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce, I can't pronounce that, a little bit of Tabasco, black pepper and a hint of vodka. So what's your recipe? If you're prepared to reveal it, leave it in a comment below. Now, whether it's the wine or the wind, Drive 3 is a wake-up call for the guns. Birds pour out, flying beautifully. Very happy with that one. Partridge came through early on, gave them a bit of a shock, and then the, uh, the pheasant went well. That went well. What's the perfect wind for this week? Southwest. What have we got today? Southeast. That's why I've got a slight grimace. This, this worked better, but this, it's set out for Southwest. It was set out that way in Lord Sefton's time, all the rides in the woods and everything else. Um, West isn't too bad, but anything with east in it is a little bit. The birds are either flying into it or oh, it's difficult. It's difficult for us. But today, that wasn't too bad. Beautiful. You, you work yeah. Sunday. Steadily <laughs> driven. <laughs> they kept coming. Week. We haven't heard much from the guns. Well, they are the usual suspects you might meet on any shoot in the country, and they like to put each other under pressure. Well, I thought that the, the two guns in front of me performed exceptionally well, and I was like, stop, start, stop, start. They shot too well there. They didn't, they didn't leave enough at all. It's back to the sparkly new lodge for lunch. Standards remain as high as the breakfast. Brian describes how the new building came about. Well, it's had a difficult birth because of the local planners, but we, we came to an agreement in the end and were able to take down all the old rearing huts and build a lodge, which is so much easier than going to the pub. We just like it to be relaxed. We want everybody to enjoy themselves. Um, arrive in good time, two drives, elevens is take our time during 11s is two more drives, come back for lunch, see what we have to do in the afternoon, and then everybody can settle down. And it has a grass roof. All part of the planning permission. And it made sense, and I'm very surprised how successful the grass roof has been. It obviously gives good insulation. It's easy to look after. We just send the keeper up there with a the strimmer if it gets a little bit too, um, <laughs> what would you say, wayward. But no, it's worked quite well. Last drive of the day is a wood with one of Lord Sefton's rides Dom. cut through it. Dom! 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 No, he's not there. No, he's behind us. <laughs> The snapshooters like the ride, but the gun in the proverbial trough is the one on the edge of a piece of rough ground next to the wood. Bird after bird goes over. The others get plenty of shooting, but his peg is the day's hot seat. At the end of it, don't think the other guns will show any mercy. Put it this way, you better have left or right left time. Because everything will, be, everything will be dropping at his feet. Well, that's what we like to hear. A bit, of, a bit of sporting spirit. Good finish, got us to where we want to be. Everybody's smiling, happy, some good shots, especially number one and number two. They had some stupendous birds in the end. Maybe number, number back gun should have got there a little bit quicker. He didn't go to the right place, but it all worked out good. A memorable 250 achieved. Four fast birds, good company and a slice of British sporting heritage. Visit altcarestate.com.